Welcome back to P2 Aero and the Yamaha powered Rans S21 project. Due to some changes in the gearbox design, I've had to redo some of my engine mount design to accommodate. I took this chance to get some footage of the process that I used since I lost the footage from the original video. Be sure to check the links in the video description to learn more about the S21 as well as some of the products that I use. While on the S21, I have plenty of room. Some guys with narrower firewalls were having trouble fitting the exhaust manifold within the cowl. Since Skytrax hadn't moved into production on the three-cylinder gearbox yet, he decided on moving the planned prop shaft location a bit to the pilot's side. This would open up this setup to more aircraft variants, but this did mean that I needed to shift things over a bit and recenter my prop flange on the firewall. I took all the angled tubes off and set up the laser again, making sure that I was hitting center line all the way back on all the fuselage bulkheads as well as down the firewall. I will reuse the tubing I can, but thankfully I ordered a bit extra the first time, so I should be good to go there. I recalibrated my expensive thrust line checker tool and made sure all was where I wanted it before I moved on. I'm using only one degree of right and 90 degrees to the firewall vertically since that's what the Titan is set up with from the factory. I cleaned up the old tubes with my favorite tool and some red scotch bright discs. It's really just a process of test fitting, modifying, adjusting, and test fitting more. I found the Dremel sanding drums pretty handy during this process, however, they don't last long so I went through a ton of them. I know I say it in almost every video, but I feel like it needs to be said again here. Don't take any of this as how-to instructional content. There's so much to consider when doing this, and if you're not comfortable making those decisions, then an off-the-shelf firewall forward is most likely a better choice for your project. My plan is still the same. I'm tacking this thing together with a MIG and will later have a competent welder do the whole thing with a TIG when I'm confident I like the layout. I've tried to consider routing of the intake and exhaust to include the turbo setup in the design of the mount as to not have a tube right where I want an intercooler later. Lots more parts are on the way, but for now, enjoy some engine mount fab.
Well, I'm going to wrap this one up here. I'm still working on acquiring more parts, and so I don't plan to get this finish welded just yet, just in case I need to move something. I think it's turning out pretty cool looking, and I'm pumped to move on to the next step. If you're considering a Yamaha conversion with your project, make sure to check out SkytraxUSA.com and look at the boxes and accessories that he has available. These are the same units found on the Epex from Edge Performance, so it'll be hard to find anything better out there. I'm looking forward to having one of these beauties hanging off the front of my setup. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next update.